allowed, can we make a Walmart subwoofer system part four? In this video, we're going to be hooking up four subs. So let's see how loud some Walmart bass can get. Welcome to the series guys. In this series, we are seeing how loud we can make a subwoofer system with gear that you can go buy at Walmart. We are using the Power Acoustic Gothic subs. That is the biggest 12 inch sub that they at least have at my Walmart. And I would imagine most Walmarts are pretty similar. Now in the first video, we had one 12 and one amp. Second video, we had two 12s and one amp. And then in the third video, we had two 12s and two amps. So for this final video, we're going to be building a box for four of these subs, ran on two amps. I think this is going to be wild, guys. Let's get into it. This is the fourth and final video of this series. That means it's time for the giveaway of this CT Sounds amp. Beautiful amp over here. Now, as I mentioned, if we got to 60,000 subscribers, I'd be throwing in 100 bucks. We blew past that, guys. And by the time I'm filming this, we're probably past... 65,000 subscribers, so I want to welcome all the new ones. I'm so excited to be growing this community over here. So thank you all so, so much. Now, should we happen to get to 70,000 in the next couple days, y'all, I'll be throwing in 500 bucks along with this amp, but we'll see. Now, to be entered for this giveaway, all you got to do is go click on the link in the description to my Facebook page. I will have a video on that page going over the exact rules. I do my giveaways over there because I can direct message people and it's so much easier to pick somebody. Whereas on YouTube, there's no easy way for me to do a giveaway. If y'all want me to do giveaways straight through uh, YouTube and you have a better idea of how to do it besides going through Facebook, let me know. Maybe I'll consider that for a future giveaway. Now, first thing we're gonna do is be building the box. It's gonna be a super simple design. We're gonna have all the subs lined up on top in a line, firing up. We're gonna have two eight inch aeroports on the side. Now for these specs, it's gonna be right around eight cubic feet total tuned to I believe 34, 35 Hertz. And we are gonna be building this with sanded plywood. Now personally I like to use, I believe it's birch that they have. It's a much, much nicer finish. Just overall a much better wood for a sub box. But y'all, I went to Lowe's and it was like $90 a sheet. So that's why I grabbed just the regular pine sanded plywood. It'll get the job done. I'm gonna attempt to draw this out here for you guys, just so you can kind of see what we are doing. So the length of the box is gonna be 60 inches, that is five feet across. It is then gonna be 18 inches tall. It's then gonna be 20 inches uh, back gonna be like this. We're of course gonna have the four subs, two aeroports on the side, firing out. Not sure what side yet, but this is kind of the basic idea of what we're doing. All the pieces are cut. Let's go over this real quick. We're going to be double baffling at the top. So that's this here. We didn't have enough to do two solid pieces on top. So we're going to have one solid piece. Any second layer will be two separate pieces. This will be the bottom over here. Then we've got the front and back right here. And the two sides. Y'all, let's start putting this thing together. Now, I would like to really quickly mention I am in no way a professional box builder, guys. So we're just doing this for fun here. I want to give my buddy Patrick over at Smashly Designs a huge, huge shout out for helping me design this box. I think it's going to sound awesome. Let's see what we can do.
lot of work cutting all these double baffled holes with the jigsaw, but hey, we got it done. So now all I gotta do is run the corpse, and I was gonna do two on the side, but I realized it actually won't fit because of the flare. So we're gonna do one here and one here. We'll be facing forward. And then I gotta go pick up two more subs. Hopefully Walmart has that sitting around. I guess we will see. Now for the ports on this box, we are using arrow ports. These are the ones from my big 612 build that I did for the Sequoia. What's really neat about these is they are in sections so we can pull them apart, make the exact size that we need. And what we need for this box are two of these. These are eight inch arrow ports. We need two of these that are 16 inches. So we're gonna pull this apart, make it 16 inches. Then we're gonna cut the holes and slide this thing in. Stuck a uh, support, just a two by four in the middle there, but y'all, the box is done. Obviously it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but for this video, it'll get the job done. I can paint it or something here in the future if I want to, but guys, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it came out pretty cool. This thing fits in here just perfectly. Now to start out with, we're gonna do it with the ports facing forward because that's how we did the other tests, but we could flip it over to where the subs were over here and the ports were facing up. That might make it louder, hard to say. Regardless guys, this is gonna be wild. I think it's gonna be a loud budget system. So I went to Walmart, they were out of these things. Now I'm on a huge time crunch because of a big show coming up here soon. I have my next build I gotta get started on. So I ordered these from Amazon. You know, it was like $277 or something to get both of these, but oh well, they are here. Gotta do what you gotta do for the videos. Time to throw these guys in the box and y'all, we're gonna get the pounding. Got all these things hooked up. It's the moment of truth. Let's see if this thing works.
that. Did you see how all those things were perfectly in phase there in that slow-mo? Y'all, these things were stretched out. They actually do got some decent x max for being such cheap subs. This is fun, guys. This is so much fun. Y'all, if you ever get a chance to do this, definitely do it. It is so cool. Nice having such a big back seat to where you can fit these guys in here. No problem. May not look like it on video, but this is a really quite large box, guys. It is five feet across. Well, let's play some test tones through this thing like we did in the other test. We're gonna do 35, 40, and 45 hertz. See how loud we can get it at each of those. See what score we get. Let's get it. Starting out with 35 hertz. Got a 135.4. Look at that at 35 hertz. A 137.3. 35 hertz, guys. Look at that. So close to breaking up into a 140. There it is. Look at that. A 140.9. 40 hertz. Got a 135.4 and a 137.2, only a 138.7. Look at that, 140.2. We're going to try 45 hertz, 134.4, 138.5, and again a 138.5. 138.8. Not bad at all. So stoked we broke up into the 140s. That is not bad at all. Let's go over what we got at each stage in this test. So in the first video, we had 112. We ran to 1 amp. And we got a 129.1. So we have got quite the increase from there. In the second video, we had two subs. Ran at 1 amp. Of course, that way was wired to 1 ohm. And we got a 133.8. Then in the third video, we had two subs on 2 amps. But since we had 2 amps, we could only wire the subs down to 2 ohms to each amp. So we did not double the power, but it did help a little bit. We got a 134.2. And then here, with 4 subs on 2 amps. Again, we had a final impedance going to each amp of 1 ohm, which really, really helps. We were able to get an awesome score of 140.9 as over a six and a half dB gain just by adding one, two extra subs to dropping the impedance. Y'all, that is absolutely wild. This is so cool. That's going to do it for at least this series. Maybe I'll pick this back up after the Sundown Audio Show. So thank you all so, so much. Stay tuned. Next up, we've got two weeks to do a big 10,000 watt build in this truck. I've got so much stuff that's come in, so it's going to be super exciting, guys. 
Going to be super packed. Going to be uploading multiple times a week. Going to try to get this done before the show. We'll see how it goes. Keep your fingers crossed. I think with y'all help, we can get this done before the show. So stay tuned for that. Remember to go check out the Facebook page in the description below for the giveaway. At the time of me filming this, y'all, we are close to that 65,000 subscribers but we're not quite there yet. So if y'all can help, if we can squeeze that out. Next few days, I'll be shipping $300 along with the amp I'm giving away. If we don't squeeze it out, hey, I'll still be shipping $100 along with the amp that I'm giving away. So, so happy for everybody who's come, checked out this series. Hope you liked it. Let me know if you want me to do something similar in the future. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank y'all so, so much. Remember as always, Basehead family, keep basing on.